if I was to ask you to name the most powerful color correction tool for video inside of Photoshop, would you guess it was Camera Raw? Well, it is. Right now, I'm going to show you how to color grade video using Camera Raw inside of Photoshop. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe, the very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. Today I'm going to show you how to color grade video inside of Camera Raw. It's incredibly easy and it's incredibly powerful. I'm going to give you two examples. The first one I'm just going to go through it and then the second one is also going to be pretty quick but I'm going to explain some of the other steps to you as we do it. So let's get started. Here's a picture of actress uh, Natasha. And you might have seen this video actually when we were doing the Canon 77 uh, review. You can see that in my links underneath. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to color grade this video. So we're just going to right click up here and we're going to choose convert to smart object. Then we're going to go under filter. Then we're going to go down to camera raw filter. Camera raw is going to pop open. You're going to see it just like an image. Make your corrections like you normally would. Let's warm this up a little bit. Let's recover the details a little bit in this one in the highlights and shadows. And also we're just going to give it a little boost here, give it a little touch of contrast and click OK. The next example I'm going to show you more of a cinematic color grade. But right here, if we look at this before and after, you can see it looks great. Hit the play button and now we can see there's Natasha in Wonderland. We're actually doing an Alice in Wonderland shoot here. And you can see that that's applied to the entire video. Now I'm going to show you how to get the video in and how to get it out as well as apply a cinematic color grade, you know, the teal and orange look. So first thing we want to do is we want to get the video in. So we just choose file open just like we would on an image. And then we're going to choose a video clip rather than an image. And it's going to open here inside of Photoshop. Now, if you don't see this timeline down here, just go up under Window Timeline, and this will show it. Okay, so we can play through the video here, just scrubbing through it. We've got some dragsters here that I'm shooting with my drone. This is in Barona. You can see Barona drag strip there. And what we want to do is rather than use the video clip, we want to right click on here and we're going to convert it to a smart object. Now, the reason we're doing that is if we didn't do that, we'd only be applying it to a single frame. We want to affect the entire video clip. So if you convert it to a smart object, any filter is going to affect that. In fact, I've got another tutorial underneath. I'll link to it where I go more in depth into uh, editing video inside of Photoshop. And if you guys want me to do a more updated version of that, drop a comment, request it, let me know, and I'd be happy to do that video for you guys. All right, so let's have a look here. What we're going to do now is move to the point in the video that we want to look at. So this is the frame we're going to use for our preview frame. So we just go under filter, we go to camera raw, and camera raw filter is now going to open up. In this case, what we're lacking is contrast. That's because I'm shooting in log to preserve all the details. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to push out whites a little bit, open that up, and let's push out blacks, give it a little contrast, and maybe push the exposure just a touch. Great, that's looking good. So the next thing we want to do is apply our cinematic color grade. So the way to do that is we're going to go up here under split toning. So we want to put teal into the shadows. So let's choose teal and dial in the amount we want. Right there looks great. Highlights, let's choose orange. And let's pull up the saturation until we get just the right amount. In fact, I'm going to push the shadows a little bit more blue. And you can always change that, see there. But there we go, we'll get that teal and orange blockbuster look. We're just going to click OK. And now we've applied that. If we look at it before and after, we can see we've applied that to the video. Hit the play button and let's see who wins the race. Or at least let's see who launches first. All right, once we've done that, what we need to do is to be able to export the video. So what we do is we just choose File, Export, and just go down to Render Video. Click OK. We can see our document size is 1920 by 1080, which is HD. So why don't we just use a preset? We'll use a YouTube 1080 preset. Go there, click Render, and it'll create the video. Now, you can use your presets from Camera Raw 
and just apply those directly to your videos. The other thing you can do too is you can get your presets from Lightroom, bring them into Camera Raw, and you can also use those. And the way to do that is just go into Lightroom, right click, open a smart object, then you double click the smart object and it will open in Camera Raw, and then just hit Save Preset. And if you can't remember that, I've got a link underneath where I actually got a tutorial on that. All right, as you can see, this video was straight to the point, no messing around. If you like these kind of videos, hit the subscribe button and you'll get a new one from me at least once a week. Also, don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video. So I got a question for you guys. What is your favorite device for capturing video? Is it a mobile phone? Is it a GoPro, a drone, a DSLR, mirrorless camera? a full-size video camera, let me know in the comments underneath what you're using to capture your video. If you like this video, smash that like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. Mm -hmm.